Hi, this is Adam with Ion North Carolina. We're here in Raleigh, North Carolina at the IBMA World of Bluegrass. Our coverage continues with Nefesh Mountain. I'm here with Donnie and Eric, who's going to tell us more about the band, play some great songs, and to all our Jewish followers, La Shana Tova. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, nice to meet you. you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure, Adam. Pleasure, yes. Hey, folks out there. We're Nefesh Mountain. We are the Jewish bluegrass representatives here at our first IBMA conference. We're from Montclair, New Jersey, and uh, we pair our old time and modern bluegrass stylings at the same time with our Jewish backgrounds and sensibilities. That's great. And how did you link up with IBMA to be invited, to play? How did that transpire? I forget exactly how it happened, but it was recommended to us that we come, and then we were fortunate enough to have a showcase, and now we're going to be playing tonight. And Actually, twice tonight and then again on Thursday. So that's, we're we're really great. we're really excited and we're getting a great response so far. That's yeah. great. That's great. Um, so you're touring around the southeast at a lot of synagogues. How is the response? You know, people don't equate uh, Jews in bluegrass. So what right. what's the response been in the Jewish community and outside the Jewish community? The response in the Jewish community has been fantastic. Okay. Um, we've been playing in the Jewish community for a while, and we have a lot of friends, we know a lot of people, and we've been doing it for a while, and they love bluegrass for the most part. Actually, all of them love That's it. Great. That's just great. Like, just like us, you know. It's folk music, you know, it's right. at their heart, so we're kind of, it's familiar, and then to hear these ancient Jewish prayers paired with a banjo and a fiddle and a dobro is, is just thr as thrilling for the, our fans now as it was for us when we first started doing it, so it's been very exciting. That's great. And then in the, in the non-Jewish community, we've been having a ton of love poured on us, and uh, people are just very intrigued by us singing in Hebrew and us, you know, kind of getting in touch with our American and Jewish roots and just seeing an honest voice. I think people are really, you know, being taken by that. So, very lucky. We're very fortunate. That's great. That's amazing. And so, you're from New Jersey. Bluegrass music is not really associated with New Jersey. How did that come about, being up in New Jersey, I guess that could be paired with the previous answer that we just had. Yeah. We're just striking out on all fronts. It's like, yeah. bluegrass isn't normally Jewish. Bluegrass isn't normally from New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> we, um, we both happen to love bluegrass. It's in our souls. It's in our hearts. And uh, I always loved it. Still do, obviously. Yeah. Eric also. And then when we met, it was like, we both had this sort of love. And then we fell in love with each other, too. Aww. So it all just happened. How long it's have really you guys been married for? A year and change. Oh, wow. yeah, we're, we're newlyweds. Nice. We're still newlyweds. No, oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Um, any plans for uh, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the high holidays? Any special events you're having right before? I know this weekend is right before Rosh Hashanah, but any events going on? We're flying home on Friday, and we're going to scoop up our kids to fly back to Atlanta to play Rosh Hashanah services. At a wow. whole MF in Marietta, Georgia. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And we're doing. Cool. A lot of services for all, you know, for the whole for the whole congregation. That's the great. Little kids up to the adults. Well, we need to get you here in Raleigh and Durham. Yeah, to yeah. Play. We really like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, that'd be fun. Love to. Uh, what are you looking forward to at the IBMA World of Bluegrass award shows? Some of the other bands. Is there a particular band you guys are looking forward to seeing live that you haven't seen before? I think it's just exciting to to be here and to share what we're doing and sort of connect with this other universe and feel welcomed and that's really it's just kind of taking a lot in we've never done this conference before and we're meeting new people and it's just exciting that's great and very new and very and very wonderful you know, it's, cool. it's a it's a great event and yeah. there's so many great musicians here including you guys and uh we're all really excited thank you so, us too yeah you're welcome definitely are you so what are you guys playing tonight so we thought we would play right now if you want to hear yes. something um we, uh, there's this, what you, you want to tell them about the Sure, there's a, there's a song that we've been playing all summer that we're going to report on our next album that um, is an Alan Lomax finding. And uh, this was a song originally from the Caribbean. And we heard this and immediately associated it with, I mean, ourselves. We fell in love with the melody and the kind of sentiment of the song. It's called, I Want to Hear Somebody Pray. And I think it's particularly important for Rosh Hashanah because it's really like a call to action. You know, and sort of putting it out there to the universe, which is what we do during you know, Rosh Hashanah, where we really, really want to make that connection and be honest with who we are, and also bear witness to each other as a community. And so, and I also, it's just such a, such a nice idea, like a universal call out 
you know, to just be honest in his life. Right. So this is kind of a Rosh Hashanah take well, it's, it's perfect. Prayer. Well, great. Well, yeah, for the holidays. Yeah. yeah it's totally perfect. perfect. Well, we're looking forward to hearing it, and uh, this is Adam with Eye on North Carolina, and we'll see you all soon.